Hey guys, so today I thought it would be fun to show you what is inside my wardrobe. I do weekly what I wore this week videos and you guys always ask me to see what's in my wardrobe. So I'm going to show you. Um, I also have a little chest of drawers which I may show you as well. It's kind of like a mishmash, it's got like printer paper and underwear in it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna stand up now and talk you through all the items back there. <laughs> okay, so the first part of my wardrobe is behind me right now. I have a little mirror on one side of the door, which is really, really handy. Um, it's kind of annoying it's not on the inside of the door because if you want to like try something on and have the drawers open, you have to close the drawers and then look, but it's fine. And then the other side is just plain black fake wood. Um, this is from Ikea, it came with the flat because this is the student flat so it kind of had most of the furnishings. So I tend to have a slightly random order to my wardrobe but it sort of makes sense. I generally keep coats in this section, um, then jumpers, shirts, dresses and then I've started doing a new thing which I'm not sure if I like yet um, but I put if I wear it then I put it back on the hanger and put it in at this end so I know what I've been wearing recently and then I'll try and pick things out that I haven't worn recently um, if that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah I'll bring you guys in so you can have a bit of a closer look. So this is actually my newest item this was I found this on eBay actually but this was from Topshop originally and it was about £50 um, which is amazing because originally it's like 170 or more I can't remember but I love it so much. Um, and then what else do we have? Uh, Pull and Bear had an amazing sale this winter, um, so I have lots of new jumpers from there, which were like twelve ninety nine or something. So I've got this really nice cable knit, just a tight rib jumper. This one is an oversized jumper from Zara. Um, this was an absolute steal. This was from H and M, and this was five pounds, and it's sort of got that like tinsel effect which I really like, I think it's just really cool. Um, one of my favourite jumpers from H&M, super, super soft. Uh, this is a new purchase from Pull and Bear. Um, it's got really interesting shaped sleeves. So yeah, I really love the shape of the sleeves. And again, this was like £13 in the sale. Um, this is a jumper from And Other Stories. And then we get on to like pegged up things. <laughs> so this is a skirt. From Zara, I wear this every now and then. I don't really wear skirts that much, but um, it's just like a little pleather skirt. Um, then I've got a cardigan which I haven't worn yet actually. This is from Pull and Bear as well, but I love the sort of like western theme. And then we go on to more pinned up things. I've got like a little suede skirt from Zara, um, some trousers, a check shirt, and a check dress. <laughs> Um, this I'm so excited about. This is from Free People and it's like um, a satiny, silky feeling fabric and it's like an all-in-one. I really want to do like a shoot with that on because oh, it just looks so nice. And also this dress is from Free People and I haven't worn this yet but I feel like I'm going to wear this a lot during summer. Then I've just got another jumper, dress. Uh, this dress I found in a charity shop um, and it's Liberty print um, and I thought if I don't wear it I can use it as fabric but I really love it and I just want to tailor it a little bit um, before I wear it because it was size 16 um, and I would normally just belt it but it's a bit tricky to... it just needs a bit of work. <laughs> then I've got some shorts and some long shorts. Then these two, I I really don't get much wear out of these skirts, but these are like those heat set pleat skirts um, that were really in fashion. I really love this pink one, but I just haven't found a time to wear it yet. Another dress. This is one of my favourite dresses from Zara actually, um, with the little lacing. They might still have it in the sale. Who knows, you could try and have a look. Um, then these are some of my more summery items. Um, I've got a spotty dress, um, some more dresses, my white shirt, some more white shirts, 
this really cute cardigan. I can never remember the name of the shop I bought this from. It says Chic Wish in the label, but it took ages to come because I think it was from China. Then we've got my Glossier hoodie, um, another jumper. <laughs> this one's really soft. This is an old one from Topshop. Um, a cardigan from Zara, chenille jumper from New Look. This is probably really annoying. I don't know if people go through everything in their wardrobe when they do this, but <laughs> why not? <laughs> Um, this is a really interesting sweatshirt, it's got like massive sleeves, I love interesting sleeves which is kind of annoying when you love interesting sleeves and you want to wear a coat because you can never wear coats over such bulky sleeves but you know. The famous pearly Zara jumper, <laughs> this is a really nice sweatshirt from H&M that was in the sale. Uh, my Nike sweatshirt, um, a new look jumper, my Lee shirt. This is actually the nicest check shirt I've ever owned. It's got such nice detail to it, like the placket stops here with a little point and then it's got like, a, oh, there's just like little bits all over which are just super interesting and it's so well made so I definitely recommend Lee um, shirts, they're really worth the investment. ASOS jumper, an ugly waterproof which I've never worn but mum said I should take it in case it rains all the time. A new look cargo style shirt and this really cool oversized cargo jacket from H&M which I haven't actually worn much. Um, I'm kind of waiting for spring because I feel like this is a really spring jacket. Um, and then I've got my Free People biker style denim jacket which I love so much. Zara suede jacket. This is generally if I'm going out and I don't really mind if I lose the jacket um, I will take this one because um, I don't know I feel like I like it but I wouldn't be completely upset if I lost it whereas if I lost one of my Free People jackets or an All Saints jacket I'd be very sad. Um, another Free People jacket um, this is an old Zara leather jacket um, which I wouldn't want to lose because I'd never be able to find the same one again. <laughs> my Pull and Bear Fofa jacket, H&M Borg style coat. This is so, so warm. <laughs> I always overheat when I wear that. Um, a Zara aviator jacket, um, like a long coat from Zara. And then my two favourite jackets are at the end. This one is from All Saints. Um, this is actually in the sale at the moment. Um, and it's in a grey as well, I think, um, but it's just super chunky, a really heavy jacket, but um, I love it so much and it goes with everything. The one downside to it is it's not as warm as it looks, like the air seems to just go up and not make you warm. <laughs> what? And then finally, this is my favourite jacket at the moment, this is my Zara little black sheep jacket. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I love this so much. It's a really flattering cut. And then I just generally keep like a few spare hangers at the end. Okay, so this area is just really random and just full of bits and bobs. So I have like scarves, hats and gloves here. And then like my iron, lint rollers, soaps and extra bits for the bathroom. Um, and then behind that I keep extra bedding as well. There's like a little glass top on here um, so you can, if you don't have as much <laughs> clutter then you can see into this drawer which is really nice but um, I don't do that. Okay so this next drawer down is where I keep all of my trousers and denim. Um, it's a pretty huge drawer. So over here I keep like my special trousers um, and skirts at the back there's a few dresses, I don't really wear that many dresses. Um, and then here is black denim and like leather look trousers. Then I've got dark wash denim, um, light wash denim, leggings and workout stuff. And then back here is like overalls and dungarees and um, play suits. So that is that drawer. And then this last drawer has t-shirts and special tops. <laughs> I'll just move the camera down a little bit. So yeah, I keep long sleeve striped tops here, jumpers and sweatshirt things, then plain long sleeves, vests, 
uh, plain t-shirts, striped t-shirts, <laughs> and then this is just sort of like a mixture of everything, um, some workout tops, um, this t-shirt which is lovely, I love this so much, this is from Free People, but I don't think they sell it anymore, but it was just a really flattering cut, um, so yeah, love that so much. And then right at the bottom I keep um, sort of like... I don't know, extra makeup and skincare, um, some shoes, and that's pretty much it for my wardrobe. I'll show you my little chest of drawers and then that's pretty much it. Okay, so finally these are my really overpacked <laughs> drawers full of underwear and loungewear and pyjamas, which um, is never organised, basically. <laughs> um, and then this drawer has paper in it for my printer um, which is just above it so it's like super handy and then this last drawer has extra jumpers and some random slippers and that's about it <laughs> so that is the end of the video I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and yeah I will see you all in my next video. Bye!